Hi everyone and welcome to the Mushroom Den. Today I'm bringing you the recipe for my vegan meatloaf. Thanksgiving is right around the corner and this is definitely a must have. Now I have to admit, this recipe requires a lot of ingredients, but I try to simplify it as much as possible so that it doesn't seem too overwhelming. So for the first part of the recipe, we'll need some mushrooms. Here I have cremini, shiitake and oysters. Then we'll need some onions that I finely chopped, some red bell peppers, green bell peppers and some garlic. We'll also need a bunch of herbs. Here I have basil, tarragon, sage, cilantro and rosemary. So we're gonna start by sauteing our mushrooms on a non-stick skillet that I placed on medium heat. There's no need to add any broth or water since the mushroom will release enough fluid. Once they shrink enough in size, you can go ahead and add your onions, bell peppers and garlic. Let them simmer for a minute or so. Then go ahead and add your herbs. So give it another 2 minutes on medium low heat. Add a little bit of salt. Then set it aside. Then dump your cashews and walnuts into your food processor and give them a couple of pulses just to crush them. They should look like this when you're done. Then in the same food processor, dump in your chickpeas. Then puree them until they become creamy. Now let's go ahead and assemble everything. To your chickpeas, add in your crushed nuts. Give it a quick mix. Then add your quinoa and your breadcrumbs. Now I realized that my mixing bowl was a bit too small, so I switched to a larger one. Now go ahead and add your coconut milk, your flax eggs, liquid smoke, some vegan Worcestershire sauce. Give everything a good mix, then keep adding your ingredients. Then let's continue with some tomato paste. Nutritional yeast, some garlic powder, some salt and pepper, some cayenne pepper, but this is definitely optional. Then once we mix all the spices, we can go ahead and add our sautéed mushrooms. Combine everything and that's it. Well, almost. We still need to line up our baking loaf with some parchment paper and adding our meat base using our spatula. Make sure as you add in your meat, you fill in every space in the loaf and flatten it as much as possible. So keep doing that until your baking loaf is full. Then go ahead and drizzle in some sweet and spicy barbecue sauce. Now that's really it. All we need to do is pop this in the oven for one hour at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And look at this beauty. I let it cool down for at least two hours. The barbecue sauce glaze is just perfect for this meatloaf. There should be a very delicious aroma in your kitchen right now. Let's go ahead and check the inside. Look at this, you can see the various textures of mushrooms, the herbs, the nuts, the bell peppers, and I promise you I've got some non-vegan to taste it and they just couldn't believe it. I really hope you consider adding this meatloaf on your Thanksgiving dinner table. I promise you won't regret it. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and give me your feedback. Also, go ahead and check out some of my other recipes. And until the next video, have a blessed one.